Hello everyone! In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can easily place fasteners with new place fasteners plugin application for Autodesk Inventor. So run application. Here is at the top we can see there are five available slots to define our own custom materials. To do that we will go to settings. This is a list of uh, all available items application will be using. Here we can set the names just for ourselves. I'm gonna use class 8.8 .8 and class 10.9. Some stainless steel material. For now that's that's fine. Okay, click edit. Now I need to define what what items I will be using for um, the bolt with full thread. So this is the list of all available items under this section inside my content center. This, these are the items. I've specifically created my own libraries where I define my materials, my names and so on. Also added some missed lens values. Okay, now let's select these materials. Of course you can use the standard inventor libraries if you prefer so. Now let's do that for the bolt with short thread. Okay, we will need to do that for all the rest items. I will pause the video for a second and continue when I'm done. Okay, now I'm done. This is what I have. All set, looks good. And I'm ready to add some fasteners. So I will check bolt with full thread, click add one, select first edge, select and second edge. And everything is placed. Can change the lens. All fasteners are, are placed inside the folder just to keep the browser clean. Okay, I will change the material and uh, add some countersunk screws. Click Add Group, select first edge, select second edge, shorten a little, click Apply. Okay, all fasteners are placed inside a pattern. We can uncheck this option here. Okay, now I'm gonna place some threaded rods. Add group. Select the edge. Extend a little. Click apply. Okay, now I will add some nuts. Add one by one, select first edge, select rod, select first edge, select rod. Repeat the same process here. Okay, click apply. Now I'm going to fix this plate. I will select this combination, change the material, add multi group. Okay, click apply. Now I can select another face to look for the same holes. Okay, done. Now I will fix this ground plate to the frame. I will select these lovely fasteners. Add multi group as well. Select first edge, select second edge. Click apply, select face from this in here, click apply. Okay, I've got a warning. That means that one of the fasteners encountered interference. So let's check. Indeed, I forgot to add some slotted hole here. So this is a safety feature. For now I can just 
clear color and proceed and then later I will add the whole. Okay, now let's add the fasteners when there is a situation with two slotted holes. Select first edge, select second edge and now I have to extra select the axis to position the fasteners. Okay, extend a little, click apply. Okay, done. Okay, now let's add uh, set screws. Select first material, add one by one. Change lens. Okay, done. Seems all right. Okay. Now let's bring back the glass visibility and fix it with decoration screws like this. Add a group. First edge, second edge, click apply. Okay, everything is placed. Also, we can place the fasteners just in free space. like so also there is a possibility to select custom thread without that means it, the automation will be disabled for example I specifically want to place M10 combination add group M10 is selected. That's all. I want to check this box. So, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this application. See you next time. Bye.